Hello guys, welcome back to Simicat Gaming. So back in June 2015, um, something quite unexpected happened during Sony's E3 conference, as you might remember. The beginning of the song and the drop of a pedal were enough to explode millions of Shenmue fans all over the world, and even the ones who never heard of Shenmue were quite touched about this, because um, it was just insane at the time. And, I mean, I saw a lot of reactions. Um, obviously, the biggest fans... Uh, are obviously quite easy to understand, but there was a lot of people who didn't know Shenmue, and even though they were touched by the movement and by all everything that was around Shenmue, uh, they never played it. They've heard of it, but never played it. And I think um, this is a good chance to try and come back to Shenmue 1 and 2, because obviously I'm quite excited for the launch of Shenmue 3, but I mean, my memory is not as good as it is 14 years ago, so I, I do have a general picture of Shenmue, but I can't remember all of it. Um, so this video is for the guys and girls who played Shenmue but can't remember the whole story and for the ones who've never seen Shenmue in their life and would like to understand what's Shenmue and why are we so excited about it. So Shenmue takes place in Japan in the year 1986 as it starts in the city of Yokosuka uh, and you're living the story of this guy, Ryo Hasuki. Um, one day, gets home, sees a broken board on the floor of his house, a black car at the entrance, and an unusual open door, only to get inside and find his living in a housekeeper, Inesan. But she's actually fine. Uh, her concern is actually his father, who's in the dojo um, at the back of his house. My father. At the entrance of the dojo, he sees his living in student, Fukusan, being thrown out of the dojo. Inside of the then you will find one of the main characters of the game, uh, which is also the bad guy, and this is Landy. So pretty much the whole story is based on Ryo Hazuki trying to get revenge of his father death. Yes, spoilers, but it's only for five seconds, you will, as you will see. So you are living the story of Ryo Hazuki while he's trying to get revenge of his father, bearing in mind there's nothing that you, you don't know anything about them. The only thing that you know is this information you've just seen. There's a black car at the entrance of your house. There's a guy named Landy who's got a green vest, whatever you want to call it. I can't remember the name of that. With a dragon on his back. Uh, who then, as you've seen, just kicked his father's ass. Um, no surprise here as Ryu tries to intervene. And then the story changes a bit. Not only his father dies, but also... Landy's visit to his father is about a mirror. Now, I don't, you don't know at this stage what kind of mirror are you talking about, because he's not that pretty to have a really decent mirror, and this is not Disney. So, yeah, so this is the part that actually his father dies as a warrior, um, and there's a lot of Kung Fu involved, as you will see later on in the story as well. Now, this mirror is also very big mystery, and it still is throughout the story. So Landy acquires this green dragon mirror that we still have no idea what he, what, he, what it is for, what, what kind of secrets they, they, they have, and why is it so important that you have to kill Ryo's father to acquire that mirror. And this is also the dramatic scene where Ryo's father dies. As you can see, this is very movie-alike, and you go through the story a lot like this. I'm just going to stop for a minute. Yep. So four days later, you start living the life of Ryo Hazuki, and the, that's the only information you have to seek his revenge. There was a black car part at the entrance of your house, and this guy, Landy, who was a, a cape with the dragon, stole your father's a, a mirror from your father. And your father also killed someone that you have no idea who it is. And Ryo keeps track of this on a notebook. And that's the only thing you have throughout the story to keep track of what's going on is a notebook. The notebook has a lots of information. There's also, he gets filled in, obviously, as you go throughout the story. But I never had the notebook completely filled in, so sometimes I found out the story and there's still a couple of pages empty and I never realised what part of the story I actually missed. And that's the beauty of the game, I mean I still find new things throughout the story, even playing today. And this is the amazing part of Shenmue, it, I feel it, I never actually 
finish the game properly. I think there's only one ending, that's fine, but I, I think I never found the whole the secrets of the game. Uh, throughout the menu, you can have access to everything uh, from your watch. Um, as you can see now, it's the moves uh, list that you can do with Shenmue. These can also be changed as you found right scrolls throughout the story. And then that's when the fun starts, is that you click the triggers and you realize that you can actually interact with the objects in the world and not only in your house but outside the house in shops you can look around and zoom in one of the triggers and interact with the object so as you can see now I just grabbed the tape and if you interact a bit more you go by the lamp you press A or X and you turn on the lights and this works for everything in the house and then you realize you can open drawers and maybe there's stuff in the drawers as well and you go like okay so I just found a cassette tape player which is very useful bearing in mind you just found a cassette so maybe you can just open everything in your bedroom in the hopes that you will find something and you just scavenge the whole room and you can't find anything else and you're ready to leave and when you leave the house you find Ines again with a very deep insight um, explanation she needs to keep busy otherwise she'll get depressed fair enough um, at this point of the story uh, Ines tells you that she is gonna give you um, a daily income and then you decide to move or maybe you should explore a bit more so straight away as you get into the living room um, the end of cabinet has got a Sega Saturn and you think well maybe I should just carry on and see if I can find anything else and you just give yourself wasting pretty much 30 to 45 minutes exploring the whole house opening every drawer every cabinet that you can find in the house you go into the kitchen, you open fridges, you open every single damn door you can find in the hope that this won't be a waste of time. And then you find an inspirational quote on the frame and you think, oh my god, I can remove frames as well? And you start removing all the frames in the house, trying that maybe you will find something. And this is important later in the story, because it will play its part. Um, as hopefully I will explain in the future, and the fans of Shenmue uh, realize that. And after 45 minutes, you are ready to go and explore the real world. But rest assured that this wasn't all in vain. Your 45 minutes were actually quite useful because you finish off the scavenger with a photo of your friends, another cassette tape, a C-sized battery, a box of matches, some candles, a mysterious key that will play its part later on, two scrolls, and you mastered two moves as well, and you also pray prayers to your dead father. I did this twice because I mix-clicked the button. Either way, after all this, you're finally ready to go and fight the world in the seek of revenge to your father. So one of the first things you have to do is obviously go to the back of the house and speak with Fukusan. Just to let you know, I did that and then I realized that the screen just froze while I was recording the gameplay. Um, and also I was trying to fix it at the same time, ended up crashing the emulator and the recording software which left me with a blank screen. It, this was all very good until I realized actually the saving system of this game is you have to go back to your bedroom and save the game. So I had to go back and explore the same stuff again. But after all that I was now ready to face the world and go outside. Hope you guys enjoyed this first video. My idea is to do quick highlights of the game if we enjoy this. Um, please give me a feedback and I'll come back to you as well. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.